This is a dark-eyed junko. It's about the size of your everyday sparrow. I love seeing them when I'm outside. They're foraging for food on the ground and looking pretty cute. I didn't really know about dark-eyed junkos before, as when I was growing up. The small birds I was able to recognize were house sparrows and finches. Nowadays, I feel like I'm noticing more dark-eyed junkos, so I wanted to share with you a few fun things I appreciate about this little bird. My first point. Dark-eyed junkos are friend-shaped. Look at this little bird. It's so friendly. There's been some birds where I've walked pretty close by them without them flying away. I also see them everywhere. Like common house sparrows and finches, they can be found in suburban areas and open spaces. To identify a dark-eyed junko, Oregon version, we'll get to that. This bird is about the size of a sparrow with distinctive markings. It has dark eyes with a dark gray, almost black head, pink bill, a warm brown back with brown flanks and a cream belly. The junko family is a type of sparrow and it eats seeds with the occasional insect. Have you seen this bird around you before? My second point, dark-eyed juncos have a wild evolution. Apparently, there are currently 15 different subspecies. Like what? Dark-eyed juncos live all across North America. People observe that these birds, while they are the same species, have different markings in different areas of the region. Regional variants are grouped in the slate-colored, white-winged, brown-backed, red-backed, pink-sided, and even a gray-headed group. Its evolutionary classification is still not fully understood by scientists. I'm linking a video in the description in case you're interested in learning more about the variants. The variant I am most familiar with is the Oregon version, which lives across the west coast. My third point is that Dark Eye Junkos have a mid name. Please don't at me. When I was learning about these birds, I used to call them dark headed juncos because they have a dark head. Dark eyed juncos seem very self explanatory to me since birds like house sparrows and finches all had dark eyes. It wasn't until I was researching for this video that I learned that there's actually yellow eyed juncos that live in Mexico and are a completely different species. They are called dark eyed juncos as the common attribute with the variations of the North American population is their dark eyes, which distinguishes them from their southern relatives. Alright, those are a few things that I appreciate about dark eyed juncos, names and all. I love seeing them around my day to day life when I'm outside, and hope that this can help you identify them and love them a bit better too. Thanks for watching.